This video is made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please contact Lucille on 082-781-7703 for more information. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Today we are going to be covering geometry again and it's our third lesson on parallel lines. Let's look at this figure and then let's also look at our laws, our skills and our strategies. We know that we need to look for fuzzy x and we need to look for triangles. What skills do we need? We need to be able to solve equations and then strategies. We need to be active. Whenever it comes to geometry, we need to be active. In other words, as you find your answers, you fill them in and then we actively look for those fuzzy x shapes and we look for our triangles within the figure that's given. So let's have a look and see if you can find X for me. Did you find the Z or the N in the drawing? You did. That's awesome. That means that X is equal to 42 degrees. And what would our reason be? Our reason is because the angles are alternate. So remember we spoke about being active. We now need to fill in that we found X equal to 42 degrees. Let's see if you can find Y for me. Now, we know that three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So angle Y will be equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 42 degrees. And that will give us 108. Let's look at our next example. Now, in this shape, you should see that we won't find the letter F. We won't find the letter U or the letter Z. However, we can make use of the letter Y and we can make use of the letter X. So those will be vertically opposite angles and this will be angles in a straight line. Let's see if we can solve for X. Angle X will be equal to 100 degrees. Why? Because it's vertically opposite to our given angle of 100 degrees. What will angle Y be? Angle Y will be equal to 34 degrees. Why? Because it's vertically opposite to our given angle of 34 degrees. So that angle will be equal to this angle. Now we know that angle Z plus angle X plus 34 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. Why? because there are angles in a straight line. So we can go ahead and say that Z is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees plus 34 degrees. And what will that give us? It will give us an answer of 46 degrees. And our reason is because it's angles on a straight line. Let's look at another example. In this example, there are two possible methods for solving for A. We can use our basics of fuzzy X or we can solve for A by solving angles around a point. Now you know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So which point are we referring to? We're referring to this point here. Angles around this point add up to 360 degrees. So altogether these angles will add up to 360 degrees. Then which skills do we need to employ? We need to also know how to do equations. And then our strategies is we need to identify the angles around the point which we have already done. We also need to set up an equation to solve for A. So let's do that now. Therefore 100 degrees plus 120 degrees plus A plus A plus A will be equal to 360 degrees. Our reason is angles around a point. And now we need to solve for the equation. Where do we want our variables? We want our variables on the left hand side and we want our constants on the right hand side. So 3A will be equal to 140 degrees and A will be equal to 46,6 degrees recurring. Thank you for watching with us. We hope to see you again next time. 
Also, if you need tuition in maths, English, Afrikaans, physics or accounting, we are available to tutor. We tutor grades 1 to 12. You're welcome to contact me for more information. Please also don't forget to like this channel or subscribe to this channel so that you can receive reg regular updates. Keep well.